In part one of this series, I shared some tips and building blocks for you to start setting up your hotkey system in Raycast. It's here if you want to check it out. But today I'm going to share eight concrete specific hotkey ideas that you can immediately add to your setup so you can get your muscle memory going and start launching apps and commands like a pro. By the way, if you've never set up a hotkey in Raycast, it's really easy. Just search for your preferred command, press command K to launch the actual panel and look for configure command. From there, you can just record your preferred hotkey. I'd like to think of clipboard history as an advanced paste action that works globally. We've done a whole video to help you master this command, so make sure to watch it later. But for now, I'd like to recommend you a set of hotkeys like Shift Command V or Option Command V or even Hyper V. It just makes sense to associate it with Command V like that and it will get you addicted to clipboard history in no time. It's great to open Raycast and search for window management commands, but it's really a no-brainer to create hotkeys for them, especially since it's one of those things that you use all the time and you gotta do it fast. Pick a few of the most important ones like left and right half, center, full screen, and map it to something like control, option, command, left arrow for left half, right arrow for right half, C for center and F for full screen. It's easy to remember and it just makes a lot of sense. I don't know about you, but AI chat is something I use all the time. So it's worth one of those premium hotkeys. One that's really easy to press and it's close to your hand at all times. Hyper A is a great one. In a QWERTY keyboard, A is right next to caps lock and A for AI just makes sense. By the way, if you're a bit confused about this hyper key thing, we also made a whole video about it. But here's the gist of it. It basically maps all of your modifiers, shift, control, option, command into a single modifier key that you can configure such as caps lock. It's really easy to set up. So check it out over here to learn more. If you have a lot of AI commands you use often, it might be a nice idea to create a little palette for them using your number row or your number pad. Say shift option and a number to fire thick spelling and grammar, make it shorter, translate to French or any other custom command that you use often. In no time, your muscle memory will remember those and you won't even have to think before firing them. One of the first things I do after I install Raycast on a new machine is to replace the native emoji picker with Raycasts. On a Mac, you can do this by setting the hotkey for search emoji and symbols command to control command space. You see it's a much better experience. This one is also a no brainer, but setting your hotkeys for your most used applications is something you never look back from. A great tip is to use something like option and the app letter or a letter that you associate the app with in some logical way. So for example, let's say something like Safari, you could use option S, S for Safari, or option B, B for browser, or even option I, I for internet, or W for web. Try going through your most used apps and setting a hotkey for each of them at once and force yourself to use the hotkeys for a couple of days instead of opening them through Raycast or even worse, the dock. You won't believe how fast you get used to them. Same thing for your most used quick links. I like to think of my quick links as almost like apps since a lot of them point to web apps that open in a browser anyway. So option and a letter works perfectly fine for quick links for me as well. If you have a lot of quick links that open in the same place though, like links to find folders, you can set them all under a different modifier, 
say control command and a letter for folder like downloads, coding projects, desktop, etc. It makes it really fast to access all of your files without ever touching the mouse. This one is a very specific tip for content creators. There's an extension in Raycast called Display Placer that allows you to create different resolution presets for your screen for when you want to do more zoomed in screen recordings, for example. We always use this to record our videos so people can watch it on their phones more comfortably. This is one of those great little things that makes hotkeys in Raycast so powerful. A specific command like this that would take a lot of clicks can be mapped to just one keyboard movement. Option shift minus for regular size, option shift plus for zoomed in. Works like a charm. Hotkeys are very personal and subjective, and I'm sure that a lot of you have great tips that work for your specific setup. So make sure to share them in the comments below because I'm always learning stuff from you too. If you're applying any of these ideas to your workflow, then also let us know in the comments. As always, don't forget to subscribe for more tips and news about Raycast.